as we do have a wind advisory up for some. Most of our western counties and then Lakeshore counties, this goes all the way until 1 p.m. And the reason everyone isn't included in this is because the front is really going to sweep on through and really prove itself to our Lakeshore counties and our western counties up to about 50 miles per hour as possible with these gusts as this sweeps on through. So where do we stand right now? Because it's definitely breezy and windy across most of Northeast Ohio everywhere, even those not included in that wind advisory that stretches all the way down even to the Akron Canton area to Dover gusts around 20 miles per hour, but near 30 from Mansfield to downtown the Akron Canton area too. Elyria not far off, same thing in Ashtabula, but we still have a warming wind in place. We have a southerly wind component, so temperatures in the upper 40s, right around 50 degrees. It won't last for much longer. We've got some spotty showers out there this morning, too. We'll kick up another wave of that as that front actually sweeps on through. But because we're that warm, it actually puts us about 20 degrees warmer than this time yesterday morning, which we were actually just starting that warming trend on go yesterday morning. It's actively in place, but we'll start to see falling temperatures as we head through the day. Now, these, this is a couple of things that I just wanted to show you and kind of geek out about. We can show you this front moving in a couple of different ways, and this one is that temperature change across the Midwest. Check out the zones from Minneapolis to Chicago. Chicago started the day, same thing in St. Louis, about 15 to 20 degrees warmer than their morning started yesterday, but they are already about 20 degrees colder than uh, some spots yesterday morning too, and they'll continue to cool and so will we. Here's another look at active current temperatures sweeping on through. Chicago started the morning in the 50s. They're already at 31 degrees. That's sub freezing. We get that kind of air here. It can't, comes marching toward us. It'll also bring some of that rain, but we've got a little bit of a lull here, so it's not going to be an impressive rain totaling event. It never was supposed to be. It was really going to be a wind driven event as this area of low pressure continues its way a little bit farther to the east. So what impacts us? here and how much rain do we see and how long does it last? Well, in your National Zymer and Auerbauer forecast, I want you to keep an eye at the temperatures because this is 7 a.m. We're still in the 50s, some of you in the low to even mid 50s, but here is 9 in the morning. There's a difference from Sandusky to Dover, about 10 or so degrees. As the front starts to sweep on through, it brings some rain, but it's out of here very quickly. By 1 p.m., the rain is outbound, maybe a little flurry action through the snow belt, but accumulations are low here, and we're all in the 30s now. This is not necessarily how it's uh, going to feel to you outside, though, because the wind will still be in place. We'll actually feel a whole lot cooler. Starting tomorrow morning, we'll be back in the 20s, and we'll actually see a whole lot of sunshine for your Sunday, but our temperatures and our wind chills, those will drop too. We're feeling like the 40s right now, but we'll feel sub freezing as we head through the afternoon. And that's why in your Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast, I only put 30s today. We started in the 50s, already hit our high temperature at 56 just after midnight, but the majority of your Saturday will be spent in the 30s. So why talk about 50s at this point? 40 though for your Sunday and we stay in the 40s for the majority of the week. But if you like a system, uh, a rainy one here and there. We get a couple others uh, as we head through this week. So uh, keep your rain gear uh, handy, mm. uh, um, rain jacket, the umbrella, basically everything. The Mary Poppins bag I mentioned earlier, we may <laughs> have to keep it ready for the attire, Danielle. Well, at least it's not snow. Correct. Snow cannot come until December 24th. Oh, oh sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't right. know if those rules will necessarily match up, but that's